I have a weird habit of making oddly specific redstone contraptions. Like, check out this, this contraption. This is a one source lava farm. When are you gonna need that? I got the idea from watching Il Mango Skyblock series where he only had one lava source and he then had to make a setup like this with a cauldron, dripstone and lava and walk over and manually empty it like this. And I thought to myself, there must be a way to automate this. So I got into this world and I started building and I came up with this contraption. The way this works is that every time a cauldron gets filled, this comparator will see it. And when a cauldron is filled with lava, it gives off a signal strength of 3. And so when this comparator gives that signal, we can count 1, 2, 3 into this repeater and 1, 2, 3 into this repeater. This will firstly make this piston push the feed tape this way and then next make this piston push it that way. That will get detected by this observer, that will then push it that way, detected by this observer, that will then push it that way and we have redstone dust here. If we didn't stop this, it would just run in a loop. That's why we need this little system over here. We have a 3 tick repeater going up here into this pulse extender. That will make this piston extend and stop the feed tape. But we also need the system to stop when it's filled. That's why we have this comparator. When this then gets to a signal strength of 3, this repeater will get powered and that will unpower these two torches making those two pistons retract and that will cut off the signal for these two repeaters and the system will stop. And because pistons actually retract before they extend, we get the signal cut off before this piston and this piston up here can get to push so the system will stop. This furnace here is to ensure that that piston over there doesn't push the cauldrons too far. You could have any immovable object, I just chose a furnace, or you could choose to have 11 cauldrons here, I just didn't want my contraption to be that big. We can ram the tick speed up to a thousand, normally it's three, so this should go quite fast. And we see here, every time the cauldron gets filled, everything pushes. And if we just wait a little time, we'll see that eventually when the whole system is filled, it would stop automatically. So the system is now filled and we can empty it. When you need to empty it, it's important that you do it this way around, otherwise you can actually break the system and you'll just have to rearrange everything and put the cauldrons back into order and it's it's so annoying. That's why I've uh, put this little arrow you see in the front right there to be a, a little reminder of which way to unfill the farm. I'm not going to make a block by block tutorial for this one but if you want to there's a world download and you could just Go in here and check it all out for yourself. You can make a schematic if you know how to use Light Magic and Mod. Otherwise, there's lots of tutorials for that. That's all for me. But thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to catch more content from me in the future. And I'll see you in the next video.